All right, guys, for this project, we are going to be making a Romero Brito inspired design for Veterans Day coming up this Saturday. In the last video, or the other video, I showed you how to make the Statue of Liberty. If you would not like to make that, then you can make this one as an, another option. So what I have is I've got a star in the middle, and then I've got these lines that are coming out of each point of my star. And then in each section that is now created, I've added some patterns that are inspired by Romero Brito. And obviously we're using the red, white, and blue colors for Veterans Day. So for this project, all you need is a pencil, if you like, or if you just wanna use marker, that's fine too. I'm gonna use both, because I'm gonna show you how to make a star without those lines in the middle. And then at the end, we'll be using some red and blue crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have at home. And I chose even some different shades and different kinds of blue and, and red if you've got it too, to mix it up a bit, okay? So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start with a pencil, like I said, because I'm gonna show you how to make that star and get rid of all those lines in the middle because I know when it's, it's tricky to make just a star on its own like this, if you wanna try it just by making each of those points, go for it. See, obviously that's not a perfect star, which is okay. But what I'm gonna do is show you now, make a star go up the mountain, down the mountain, over to the side, across, and back to your starting point. Okay, so that's where I started. I'm gonna trace just the outer, the outline of it. Up, down, over, and just trace the outside of your star. Again, it does not have to be perfect. This starts kind of wide, which is fine. Now we just erase our pencil lines. Easy peasy. All right, so now that I have my star, ooh, I'll erase a little bit more. Now that I have my star, each point of my star, I'm gonna draw a line that goes all the way out to the edge, all the way to the edge. So let's start with this one, it's kind of a long line. From this point, I'm gonna go all the way, straight line all the way to the edge. This one up top, go all the way to the edge. Side, this one's a little bit shorter. Down here. And finally, my big long one all the way down. Okay, now I'm also going to make, since I wanna make more section, sections than just these five, each part of the star that goes in, I'm also gonna treat that as um, a point to make a line. Here straight out. Boom, and oh, that's it, okay? So now you have a choice again. You can either make your designs with your marker first, if you're uh, using Sharpie or black marker, anything like that, which is what I did with mine. I traced uh, all my lines, or I made all my lines and shapes and patterns with my marker first. Or you can dive right in with your colors, okay, if you want to do that. So I'm just going to do that because why not? Let's just dive right in. So in one of my sections, I'm going to make some stripes. Now, you don't have to do this. You can decide whatever patterns you want. I attached a, um, an example, a paper example of different kinds of patterns that Romero Brito would use in his work. But guys, again, it's a lot of stuff that you already know too. Lines, shapes, repeating those again and again creates patterns. You can come up with your own if you'd like. Okay, I got a little bit out of the lines, but that is okay. All right, so I've got some stripes in this one. Maybe I'll make some skinny ones in between. We've got wide, thick, and thin lines. Because why? Not. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Um, next one, maybe I'll do Romero Brito's famous hearts. He likes to do these kind of sketchy hearts where they're a little bit skinny, real fast, 
some can be upside down. You can turn your paper over if you want. Fill it with these hearts all over. Fill that space. Maybe I'll do, I've got my dark blue. Maybe I'll do a light blue or turquoise. It does not all have to be the same shade or the same kind of blue. Ooh, upside down. Like that. Uh, maybe in the next one I'll do, there we go. Maybe I'll do some spirals. Those are fun to make. Like that. Fill this section with spirals. Now I'm gonna show you something if you use marker first. Since it's darker, I'm not gonna use the marker to color in each section completely just because it is a bit dark. What you can do is use your marker for some of the smaller details or parts of the pattern like this. And then take your crayon or colored pencil and color on top to fill in that space like this. So I usually do marker first and then the crayon on top. So you'll still be able to see the, the marker through the crayon. If you try to draw on top of crayon, sometimes marker doesn't want to work as well. So I usually do the marker first since it's darker, that ink, like that, okay? So then just fill in the rest of these sections with those patterns that, like I said, you can come up with your own or use the ones that I provided, but have fun. And then when you're done, you can write a message on the back if you want, if you know anybody, a veteran that you could give it to or hang it up or even show me. Guys, I'd love to see your finished work. So enjoy, have fun, and always do your best.